What is up, guys? Already two forever here. Oh, he's jumping. Still not used to Batman, huh? Anyway, um, it's already two here again, and I'm not gonna be doing part of the storyline, but right now I'm just gonna show some basic tips for fighting for all you Batman gamers out there that like Batman like me. Um, I know the new Arkham Knight game came out, but I'm guessing that it may be the same. I haven't played the game yet, so I can't say for sure. Uh, I think they already see me. I'm not sure. But, right now I'm just going to do some fighting tips. I was playing, and I was thinking, huh, all these guys right here, and it, it'll be so perfect just to go ahead and fight them and give you guys some tips. So, without further ado, let me see if I can zoom in on this guy. Fly kick. Okay. Okay, so without further ado, let's do this. First, you need an opponent off balance. Well, not necessarily, but make sure you don't button jam. First rule. Make sure you're keeping an eye on the screen at all times. So once you see that counter button, just go. Second, if you see someone running up to you, you automatically know that they're going to be attacking you. So then you automatically know to hit that counter button. Third, use gadgets to get enemies off balance. Kind of helps in some ways. Um, doesn't help if you're first starting. If you're first starting, then you might want to just take your time on this. Don't rush into anything. So try to just... Oh, wow, I got a challenge completion. Anyway, try to just... Oh, look at that. Progress, crime in progress. But try not to rush into anything. Try to improvise. Try to just try your best in whatever is comfortable with you. So as you can see, when I start. I try to get people off balance. Just at least one person, so then it'll make one person off balance. Okay, let me explain these guys real quick. Let me try to avoid him. Not him. No, I don't want to punch him. I don't want to punch him. Okay, once you hear that big bang, that means they're out. Okay, so these guys. You can see that they have yellow around them. And... Let me see if I could turn down the music so you can hear me. Okay. So you see they have yellow over here. So, it, let me see if I get it. Okay. So, it says he's armored and he's terrified of me, of course. But he's armored and he's terrified. So also watch the BPM. The more scared you get them, the, I guess, better they're going to fight. So make sure you always look for the dodging moments. So like right here, you hold whatever button. Like if you're playing on PlayStation, you hold triangle and you go backwards. I'm playing on Xbox, so I have to press Y and press back, or hold Y. So to knock these guys out, what you do is you cape stun and just basically beat them down. So yeah, simple as that. Um, let me get one more thing for you guys. Okay, um, I'm gonna get a lot of guys for you, for you guys, so then, so then you, I could teach you about concentration. That's like the number one thing you could do. Um, I'll get these five guys, not much, but there's an ability in Arkham Origins that once you lock on target, 
on someone for a glide kick, you hit the right bumper, and or if you're playing on X PlayStation, you press R2, hold R2, but you glide kick and then you hold right bumper, you'll see that yellow thing come up. One is red, you'll automatically knock them out. I think. Uh, yeah. So yeah, just try to concentrate as much as you can. If you could start a fight with a whole bunch of people separated, that would be good. And then once you get to 12, once you get a certain level, dang it, he punched me. I'm mad at him now. But if you get to a combo 12, you'll be in a focus free, uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, yeah, free flow focus. So once you get to a combo meter of 12 or more, everything will basically kind of slow down around you. Let me find some more enemies real quick. Oh, okay. Um, I get these guys. Hey guys. So basically, if you want to, if you're a beginner, um, you can just keep comboing. That's how I started. I just kept comboing, and then I did like one strike every now and then. So if it's if you see nothing after like the right right after you do another um, counter attack, why did that guy just fall over? Then just strike. Also, another thing I want to add. Make sure you use camera control, because the camera's not moving by itself, I keep adjusting the camera. The camera is really important in here, because you want to see where everyone is at all times. So yeah, well that's all for today guys, thanks for watching, and I'm Batman.